What is up players, it's Warboss Tame back up in this mug. Welcome to a video unboxing of some models that I'm going to be working on. This is actually just one model for a Guild Ball Masons team. This is Hammer and he is from Guild Ball Season 2. Great artwork there and uh, let's see if there's anything else we can tell from the model. This is just the insert. I've got the plastic container there. Perfect for uh, wet palettes coming out. Okay, so let's take a look at the model. You get two pieces, or I think it might be two. The model came and they were in two pieces. This might have been connected down here though, probably. And you get a base. The base is round-lipped like War Machine Horde style rather than a uh, flat-lipped like Games Workshop style. So the guy's gonna slot right in there and here is his other arm. I'm not sure how this arm is gonna go because the model is in a, quite an action pose running forward it looks like and the artwork shows him just kind of standing looking all awesome so let's see what it is he's doing he has got the fist so he's not holding a ball I guess he wouldn't be I'm not sure if they would sculpt anybody to have the ball because you know that model wouldn't always be holding a ball it looks like it goes in there maybe he's doing a uh, doing like a raised clenched fist like yeah boys let's do this why do I think he has that voice that's like the worst voice to give this guy which is why it might be the funniest field girl field girl lads let's kick the field girl looks like oh man I, I love the the sense of, of action in his pose all right let's zoom in and see if we can find anything that is wrong with it the uh, hammer, I love how the hammer is just kind of like strapped together. Looks really mean and nasty. His uh, armor looks terrific. The skull for his face looks really nice and clean. I like that it's a dark skinned model too. I'm going to try doing some, some interesting things with it. This is leg armor. And there's that on the back. Yeah, this is going to be a terrific model to paint. Again, this is for commission. I'm going to be painting all of my Guild Ball Masons team at a War Master level. So I'm really going to have fun going to town, doing the highlights, and uh, getting as much depth and detail into these guys as possible. It's a little mold line you can see right there going down the back of his head, but shouldn't be a problem. All right, we're going to go away, and I'm going to put this guy together, and I'll show you what he looks like in just a sec. And we're back. Here's the completed all built up hammer model. I uh, had to look up online some pictures of the model in um, I guess in model form to see what the angle was for the arm. I think the arm might still be uh, is supposed to be crossed in front of him like he's charging forward but I think this is a little bit more of an epic pose and I think it makes a better line for the model because you can see the direction of the model it, it looks like better to me I had it I was kind of doing a test posing of it with some plastic putty to see what it would look like if the arm was crossed in front of his chest and I think this is a little bit more of an interesting interpretation of, of the model's pose so I did see there's a little mold line running down the side and the back of his head there you can kind of see and there are some mold lines that I didn't notice the first time I also see there's a little bit of a gap in the arm because of the way that I've positioned that pose so I'm gonna try to fill it up with super glue and uh, maybe even smooth it over with some liquid green stuff later but overall I am very pleased with how this model looks how it came together I had to snip a little bit of the tab here at the base in order to fit it into the slot there but once um, it fit in and I was able to glue it so that it, it matches up, it stands very nicely. And it's, uh, you would think that the, the, all the weight would be on the front and it would tip over, but it's actually balanced pretty well because of the hammer and the way that the weight is distributed. So, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I have a bunch more Mason's Guild Ball models to unbox and to be working on coming up along with a whole bunch of other projects that you might have heard me talking about. So stay tuned to see this guy painted up and uh, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support my studio you can check out the Patreon link 
below. I'm always putting up new stuff there every day. And all my free content is always available here on YouTube as well as on Facebook and Twitter at WarBossTay. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next video.